Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the Daria Reactions. I am Fred. If you're new to the channel, glad that you're here. If you're a returning viewer, welcome back. Um, for those who don't know, we're doing a rewatch reaction discussion commentary series based fully around MTV's Daria. Uh, now, keyword in that brief description that I just said is rewatch because I am in my early 40s. I was in high school when Daria was airing on MTV, so I do have memories of watching the show either on Thursday nights when new episodes premiered, or and especially in later series run on weekday afternoons before Total Request Live, back when Carson Daly was hosting. So yeah, I always like to make that reference because yeah, if you remember when TRL was a major thing and Carson Daly was the presenter on that, yeah, I like making you feel as old as I am. <laughs> or if not even older, <laughs> if, if at all, if that's even possible. Uh, so we are in the middle of season two at the moment. And this week we're going to be covering the episode Monster. And I don't remember anything in particular about this episode. Other than I think... I think this is kind of Quinn focused and that she is like the, either the subject matter of it. Cause when I think of an episode title monster is like, what could that be? And there's like a few things because I knew uh, there are a number of episodes that are Quinn focused with Daria kind of being like almost like secondary. So I'm kind of wondering if this is one of those episodes and I want to say I'm trying to think season two is this the episode where Quinn realizes that she is being observed and trying to turn the um, try to turn the situation around to her own advantage. I want to say this is that episode, but I'm not 100% sure based on my rather decrepit memory um so yeah also probably towards the back end of this because i'm recording this at like a uh, little after 8 30 in the morning uh so my nine o'clock alarm is chances are it's going to go off i know i should be able to disable turn off the alarms but i forgot how i set the alarms up on my cell phone anyway so it's like and you know is this adds to the sense of like uh, no cuts Live the hard drive up to YouTube, as I like to say. So with that said, uh, y'all know the drill here. I'll be turning uh, no direct audio being captured. If any ambient audio that you hear will be picked up from the speakers to my mic. We've got the display capture. I will turn this off and on over the course thereof. So this way you can sync up your own copies of it. If you happen to have a DVD copy of the series that actually works on most DVD players, because good luck with that. Uh, so with that said, let's get to it. Hey, look, it's Quinn's awkward face. Yes. Uh, wow, look at young Helen. There's no such thing as cute babies. Not really. Yeah, I'm about to say, I, the only time I want my life to flash before my eyes is when I'm dead and dying. Not necessarily in that order. Quinn awkward phase lasted all of like five minutes and the photos were burned. Why? Food fight. Wait, how often is it that Kevin and Brittany are swapping undergarments? And why am I even asking that question? Hey, look. 
It was like Kevin was kind enough to give Daria and Jane snacks. Oh, great. Mr. O'Neill is here. No. Uh, no old movie can be made today because all the actors probably would be dead. It's a great night for a stroll in the rain. Dar yeah, Daria wants to be in the backseat with Jane, and I can't blame her. It's also the second time we get to see the wet hair look for both Daria and Jane, which is actually quite cool. Wait, don't blame Daria for, com for, for coming up with a class assignment. Hey, she did not make a suggestion. So, I'm saying this right now. Mr. Neo has a bad habit. It's like of coming up with uh, class assignments based on things Daria says. Who who wants to direct? It's like I, I, somehow I don't. You know what? I think Upchuck would actually make the best director out of everyone. I don't know why. Actually, I do know why, and I won't say why. Great project. Yeah. And unscripted entertainment. Why? Why would Jane want to have a use a poodle? Oh, they're playing with toys, and then Trent walks in. Ah, well, that raises so many damn questions. What is that? A fashion don'ts. Well, I can safely say I have an entire wardrobe of clothes people would never wear. Yeah, Quinn is totally comfortable being on camera. Funny enough, hey, look, it's a thumbnail that we're using for this season's worth of episodes. Those are actually great outfits. Granted, Tiffany and Sandy's are a bit more like uh, offshoot goth. It's like uh, Stacy's actually outfit is actually quite good with the bomber jacket. Yeah, 
Yeah, there's nothing more terrifying. Of course, we did see Daria wearing Quinn's attire earlier in this, uh, a few episodes ago, or a few weeks ago. Hey, look, they were, the, the Morgendorfers weren't eating uh, lasagna. They were actually having fried chicken. At least I'm, uh, I'm assuming it was a fr that's a fried chicken, but... Wait a second, Jake wants to relive his childhood? Uh, yeah, that's a problem. Jake did not have a good childhood. Tanked in the tutu on Six Sad World. Also sounds like something that would be produced or, or by uh, by Vixen Entertainment. Why not Quinn? Re there's a damn good reason why Daria judged the world by a pretty rigid set of standards. Her mother is a lawyer, after all. Wow, we actually saw the Quinn without uh, her hair and everything done. Oh, I remember this scene off the bat here, and... Quinn, Quinn is. How quickly can Quinn get her hair and stuff put together? Considering the time gap there, it was like only like maybe like what, 10, 15 seconds? I think I need a. I think I need a, a brick to the head, considering what Quinn just said. Tony is full of baloney. I think uh, it's like, wait, does Kevin get the crap beat out of him? He got backed up. Yeah. Yeah, Jake is having a PTSD flashback. Yes, they are going to follow you everywhere you go. Take enough of it. Who the hell's Larry? Oh. Did 
And he's still re reviewing the same scene. He's also probably down like about a half a dozen martinis at this point. Honey, wouldn't you like a little more light in here? Never. Never turn on never add additional light when you don't need to. Quinn, uh, Quinn knows how to manipulate guys into doing anything she wants for them. Wait, uh, let me you know anything. Yeah, she knows how to manipulate guys into doing anything that she needs for herself. Something or other. Damn. No, zoom in, zoom in. Wait a second, that, that is Jake's camera, and if it broke, would Quinn be the one that gets in trouble? You did just say that, Daria. You know what is real funny about season two? Uh, compared to the season one, the episodes fl fly by a lot quicker. Wow! This was this was a miss. This was a missed opportunity. This was a missed opportunity here because you could have had like Jody and Brittany in this dream sequence too, instead of three Janes. But they. Uh, Yeah, horror. Nope. It's like, I was like, how often does he rewind? Is he how, how many times has he he has seen this scene on his little on his home video transfers? Yes, it is. It is parent child bonding. Holy crap, Daria's face uh, was like off model there, or at least her profile was. Yes, you did, Jane. Whack, whack. Wait a second. Dari was took uh, was was announced. Well, did uh, was in a position where she was actually dancing at a at a recital. My pores are like tiny. Oh my, that's a little cool. Are you sure you haven't taken her out of context? No, that's she Quinn in context. context. Yeah. No, I wouldn't let Quinn make a movie that made her sister look ridiculous. How could she? She doesn't admit to having one. I tell you what, Dari. <laughs> that's act right. that's actually the great great com oh comeback God. there because Quinn worry, goes out of her way to try and always portray Dari as her cousin or. Uh, or some sort. Sorry, but that would interfere with our creative process. See, we're like artists, and this is how we express ourselves. You understand? I can't wait to see this. I just hope I don't sound stupid or anything. <laughs> Not that I would. Careful, Bob. I know sometimes. 
Yeah. Oh, wow. This is where Quinn actually gets the diary here. <laughs> This is a fantastic scene here because it's another insight that 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 Quinn is actually way smarter than than she allows herself to, to be. So this another instance where Daria's better nature gets a, uh, gets advantage of her. Well, holy shit, Brittany's going ham! The depth of sh shallowness, a true story. Yeah, you can. Which is which? Which is her best side? That side. Holy thing! Huh. Yeah, the conscience came through. Hi, Quinn. <laughs> what was with her face being all red there for a moment? Was she embarrassed? Oh wow, Quinn is more popular than ever, thanks to Daria. At the very least, Daria got an A, probably. Okay, so <laughs> Okay And again one of the great things about the, at least season two as I mentioned here the episodes actually fly by a lot quicker It's like they're only like 21 21 minutes in length uh, So it's, it's kind of like why is like sometimes my intros run a little bit long and surf and we try to pad things out here, but this was a this was a, a a fine little. It is a Quinn focus episode, but at the same time, it isn't. But it, but she does have that great moment where she's actually vocalizing why she is the way she is. That she kind that she has that she actually does have issues with uh, with Sandy, Tiffany, and Stacy in terms of like oh all they care about is fashion and clothes and such. And and Quinn, there's actually there is it, there is actually more to Quinn. That then she would allow herself to be, even though she does rely on being extremely manipulative to any and every, any and every guy that has a car. Apparently, um, I do feel that this was a, a, an episode that was a missed up, missed opportunity that could have included up Chuck, because I can only think of like the shenanigans that could have been involved with him, but I don't think he shares the same class with uh. Matter of fact, I don't think he's in any of the the uh, the English classes with Darby and Jane. I know he's in the same like science class. 
but uh, and I think also the same history class. But I I, I could be wrong on that. Uh, but th this is also another episode here where Daria wants to really wants to rip into Quinn, but morally finds herself being unable to do so because you know deep down she does care for her younger sibling. Uh, we also uh, speaking with the, the opening bit with the home movies and them looking at uh, what Daria and Quinn were like uh, early on and kind of like showing the rough age gap there is pretty cool. But then again, but it also calls into question how old the characters actually are, as in what is the what is the actual age gap? Because are we to assume that from seasons one through four, Daria is a junior at Lawndale High with Quinn being a freshman? I, no, I think actually that is the that is the the age gap. Kid age gap again there is like a two there is a two year age gap but it, it, that opening bit made it seem like they were there, there was a much more significant age gap than than what it seemed there you go nine o'clock nine o'clock a.m so yeah uh, so it's just like I, I i could be wrong about that and totally am the running gag with jake reminiscing about his childhood and this being fixated on one scene on those home video transfers rewinding it over and over again um it, it's a fun little bit that has a nice payoff with uh Dar following daria waking up from her nightmare and it's like a a, a a nice little like moment there between daria and jake but at the same time it, it like it it does make Jake a lot more sympathetic. It, it makes Jake very sympathetic, but also got to show that he's always had like uh, deep and personal deep issues. For lack of a better term, Helen doesn't really get much of a chance to shine here, other than like trying to guide Daria into doing the right thing and not going out of her way to embarrass Quinn in the way that she intends to from the from the get-go once uh daria and jane come up with their subject matter it's like a couple of nice scenes uh, and the look of like uh of helen like and what clearly would be like uh like a mid-80s design is 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 actually really cool and i and i and i say that, that definitely it's a mid-80s look Cause my mom had like a big flow. Uh, like I can't think of any woman who had the, I don't know for a fact, but in terms of like old pictures of my mom had like a big Haiti, uh, big eighties hair. Uh, and then obviously as an into the nineties and stuff like the hair, got, hair styles and stuff got shorter, but you know, it was like folks get older and things of, uh, of that, uh, of that nature. Uh, the dream sequence, I still stand, I, I get what, on one hand, I get why it was just Jane like duplicated three times to be in the roles of Stacy, Tiffany, and Sandy in Daria's dream, which in which we see Daria for the second time, uh, like dressed as Quinn, and and in this instance was definitely acting more like her. But it's like I, I do at the same time feel it was like a missed opportunity to have. Like uh, other people that Daria kind of associates uh, with to various degrees, because we do know that Daria and Jody are kind of like on the same level. And uh, I, I'm a fact, I do know there's an episode later in the season where Daria and uh, Jody are kind of like uh, our, our central focus of an episode. We have seen Daria and Brittany interact heavily. So like, the dream sequence, like, could have like involved all three uh it could have involved them in addition to jane i do get why that the uh, jane gets to duplicate it three times over in the dream sequence um because when you really think about it it's quinn is often with the fashion club and daria is often with jane and in terms of just like walking through and hanging out uh, roaming the halls of Lawndale high so it's like but that also raises the question is though is like 
what if uh does Darby ever tell Jane about that dream? Granted, I made a joke as like, yeah, she gets in the back seat with Jane as like it's the obvious thing there, but also to try to avoid the um uh conversing with Mr. O'Neill. Now I think this is like the this is also like the second or third time with n- not just uh with Mr. O'Neill, but it's definitely a reoccurring theme. Daria says something in one of the teachers at Lawndale High, either Miss Brock, Mr. Di- Di Martino, or Mr. Diamato, whatever, and um and uh, Mr. O'Neill is like they take something that Daria says and like more or less blames puts the blame on her for inspiring a lesson plan to at least to advance the plot along. So it's it's kind of contrived at this point. But at the same time, it's it, it, it's a natural way to at least actually try and get to that plot point as uh, as well. Um, I, I, I did like the return of the wet hair look for Daria and Jane as well. Um, oh, <laughs> the supermarket strike and the fallout of it. Obviously, Kevin going in and getting his ass beat by the by the striking workers is granted that is all that is mostly is we know what happens because considering how bruised up his face is at the end of the episode but this is also the second episode this season where we see that Brittany is has no problem diving into a combat situation the fact that she just go that she will be going all out ham on some poor dude beat the crap out of him is is pretty uh, it's pretty incredible at least in in my personal view. Um, so with that said, and um, I think that we would uh wrap this up uh here rather uh of sorts uh, it's like we got um so if you um have memories of this episode. Uh, leave them in the comment section below. Uh, I would say uh, like and subscribe, but no one actually does that. I know, I know, no one does that. Uh, that's why you don't see me putting those little bits and animation stuff in throughout the video and stuff like that. It's like, in fact, I hate channels that actually do the, do that <laughs> to put it mildly. Um, so with that said, uh, we'll see you in the next video. It was like, we are, so that was episode six and there are, how many episodes are in this? There's 13 episodes. So we're about the halfway mark of, uh, season two. And again, there's a possibility that I might end up doing two episodes a week in relation to like, uh, other stuff, depending on if I can or cannot come up, up with other content for Fridays. Uh, in the near future. We'll, we'll see how that goes. So um, as I like to say, tighten your friendship bracelet, stay safe, have a good one, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.